Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Wednesday the 9th of March 2016. And yesterday's uh, afternoon session was uh, quite uh, a frustrating one actually because uh, the market gave us a sell signal. This was filled and of course the scalp was below the psychological level here which was going to be 16,950 because the market is doing its best to stay above the 17,000 which you can see is currently just trading above that at the moment as well as so it's been brought back on the overnight which you'll see in just a moment. So we've got uh, the market managing to eventually trade down to the scalp then finding support reversing and moving back to the upside. We also had uh, Andy Aldane from the Bank of England uh, speaking yesterday as well. We had Carney in the morning, which was very entertaining actually. I don't normally watch, but uh, he was uh, certainly grilled uh, over his uh, phone calls with the Prime Minister with regards to where he stood with Europe, and he seems to be pro European. And Jacob Rees uh, Mogg uh, pulled him up on it after he tried to deny it. So it was quite entertaining actually. So, as ever, never believe a word that uh, Carney says. And let's have a look. Later on in the afternoon, we had uh, another signal here. And you can see the market then trading up to the scalp level as well. And also the 17,000 and uh, 50 level this should be. Let's just uh, make sure I've got that right. Yeah, 17,050 uh, before the market uh, became sideways. Then we had a sell signal which uh, failed with a 16 point loss. And then a buy signal that uh, failed with a 24 point loss. Which actually uh, gave back the two profits in uh, the first and second trade but like we said if you've got winners in the first part of the session then for, forget the rest and there we've got uh, 40 points plus on the table as I said to you in yesterday's market alert I'm not around in, on uh, Tuesday evening so the, these two signals uh, losing ones the first one of course is uh, the first signal hasn't actually reached the scalp so that one becomes invalid and then we did have a sell signal, as I've said before, in the market alert in, uh, on Sundays, well, for Monday, that uh, the short side is back in play. And uh, sure enough, we saw the market moving sharply lower before the close of uh, yesterday's session. This market is starting to look weak. If we have a look at the daily chart, the market showing indecision now for three straight days, and that's probably due in part uh, to not only exhaustion having put 1500 points back onto the upside but also waiting for Super Mario Draghi's comments tomorrow from uh, the ECB see what tools he's got in his chest uh, they are financial tools I might add uh, to actually save the Eurozone as he said before we will do absolutely everything we can and we're sure that Super Mario will but uh, no doubt send the Eurozone into further declines as a result of it, which we've seen for the last eight years, or the net effect of what they've done for the last eight years now globally, where uh, we've got all of the debt and nothing to show for it, apart from a few who have uh, seen their wealth increase significantly, mainly the elite. So the market, it looks like it could actually move higher today. It started out to move higher. They've got the prices back above that 17,000 level, which is very important psychologically at the moment. And then we've got the 17,200 level, which is where things really start to get interesting should the market trade up to this level. News wise today, we've got uh, manufacturing production at 9.30 for the UK and then the US uh, this afternoon, crude oil inventories at 3.30 p.m. This is a big one for this market. Last week showed an increase of 10 million barrels. And as the chairman of BP said recently, that uh, before long we'll be storing oil in swimming pools because there's that much of it around. Yet to look at a price chart of crude oil, which I'm just going to uh, uh, bring up for you. Let me just um, show you how much uh, the price of crude has increased in the last few weeks. I'll go with the NYMEX because the chart is... Uh, has a bit more data on it so if we just go to daily chart there and bring this back it's a ten dollar increase in the oil price over the last few weeks we've gone from 28 dollars a barrel to 38 dollars a barrel from the mid february there this is pure manipulation once again bringing the price up and the reason for this is quite simple as i've said before 
the banks are up to their eyeballs in fracking loans and when they issued those loans crude oil was $100 a barrel it's been down to $28 a barrel in the US and just under 30 for Brent and that we have a problem with uh, now uh, potential fracking liabilities and debts on the banks and the Dallas Fed have been caught out saying that they didn't have meetings with the banks about uh, not marking these markets at the end of the day the debts being marked to market and uh, they got caught out because um, the Wall Street Journal actually published that they'd actually been having meetings with these banks but they didn't take them to task like they did Tyler Durden of Zero Head. The implied volatility this uh, up slightly yesterday 1616 as you'd expect as we had the bit of a sell-off towards the end there and again what we want to see is the blue line below the yellow line if possible and again there's a potential for this to happen depends what uh, like I say Super Mario says tomorrow right that's it uh, for today I'll see you in tomorrow's uh, edition of the market alert as ever thanks for your support also for watching see you in the next one